good YouTube, it's your boy Legend Jerry E, and we are back here for another episode of the Brooklyn Nets, my GM series. If you guys missed the last one, we actually did go through the NBA playoffs, so make sure you go and check it out. I'll put a link to it in the top right hand corner and in the description below. But today we're going to be finishing up and doing the entire offseason, so if you guys missed the last one, you'll check it out. And if you guys enjoyed this series and want to see the season opener, make sure you go and smash that like button, guys. Let's get 130 likes for another one. So as you guys know, in the last one, we got taken out in round one. We got swept by the eighth seed, and I pretty much let you guys know that changes were definitely coming to this team. Uh, you guys can already see our lineup, so... Some changes that you guys might see in some trades is going to possibly be involving Spencer Dinwiddie. He's a great player and all. I just think that, I mean, the season that he gave us was bad. It was real bad. And the playoff performance was even worse. And I feel like he is a decent tradable asset. So we can use that to our advantage. Another player, people said to trade Karras. I want to low-key keep him just, just to come off of the bench. We honestly might as well. And he kind of turned up in the playoffs. Jared Allen is probably on the move. We're probably going to sign him back and trade him because we have Bassey. Uh, I do want to bring back Harry Giles. Musa, we'll we'll see about him. Same thing with a lot of these uh, other players. But other than that, you guys, we are going to be making a lot of moves. So let me know what you guys think about them. And in the end, KD won with the championship with the, with the 76ers. I mean, it was them versus the Thunder, which is pretty crazy. Uh, since that's his old team, and of course, he put up with some more super teammates. But other than that, let's get straight into it. Uh, in this year's draft, we got two draft picks. I think we got, we got Miami's pick, which is, project, which, is, which is projected to be 16. Now, I would love for Sharif O'Neal or Isaiah Todd to fall, but maybe we can package in the player and trade up and get them. Uh, power forward, Pascal Siakam is still great. We still need a backup power forward, and if we can, and if we can get one, one of those guys to play that role... I'd be very happy, especially somebody like Isaiah Todd, who's really athletic as well. But other than that, y'all, let's get straight into this thing, all right? Play retirements, Zach Randolph, Nene, Iggy does retire off of our team, which is cool because we already got the badges for um, championship DNA, so that's all good. The NBA, we're going to just leave that alone. I really don't want to mess with any of that. Uh, draft lottery. Now, we're not in the lottery, or are we? I, I think that we are, yeah. We're not in the lottery at all. So we walk away, yep, with the 17th pick. It got, it got even worse. The 17th and the 29th pick. Uh, I do want to keep our staff exactly the same. It did an amazing job this season. Who do they got us getting a 17, though? I don't know who that person is. Yeah, we're definitely going to try to trade up in that draft. We're probably around, like, pick number nine or something to see what that's looking like. Pre-draft workouts. Mobley. Let's also look at Scotty Barnes, Jalen Johnson, Isaiah Todd, Sharif O'Neal, and is there anybody else? I mean, that's pretty much it. I guess Giannis' brother and all of that, uh, Marcus Bagley. We take a look at these players as well, but for the most part, I think we're good. Yeah, I, I think we're good. All right, the fastest player is Bagley, highs vertical, Antetokounmpo. Who can shoot, though? All right, Isaiah Todd, second best for, from the standing NBA three. All right, that's promising. All right, so we are going to hop into the NBA draft. Who are our players that we can actually move, though? All right. Wow. We can't trade Dimwitty. That sucks. All right. You know what? We'll figure this thing out. Let's just hop into the, into the NBA draft and let's see who's there. Around pick number eight or nine is probably where we could trade up and pick somebody up. So Jalen Johnson, he goes number one. All right. Who goes number two? Number two. Come on. Come on. RJ Hampton. All right. Memphis got himself a new point guard. He, he might be going to Memphis in real life to get coached by Penny Hardaway, which is pretty cool for him. Jalen Green. All right, what's Jalen Green? Isn't he like a super high overall? Yeah, he's an 80. Okay. That's not bad. Fifth pick, Mobley goes to the Pacers. The Kings. Who do the Kings get? We have a trade. Aaron Gordon. Wait, shouldn't have to. No, it's whatever. They they would probably just take take something like that. Sure, Sharif went 
What? I don't that that draft pick right there is kind of questionable. But the magic get him, which is which is kind of crazy, because like it, it's Shaq's son. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Okay, well, they took the player that I wanted. We're gonna see if we can make a trade though. Let's see if I can make a trade for Isaiah Todd. He went to the Hawks. Alright. Um Ted, they about to make this mad hard to get him. And I already know it. Dog. I'm not doing that trade for Sharif, but seven. I definitely want. Wait, they already have a center though. They got Bo Bo. Why did and, and they got Colin still? Why would they? Why would they even make that draft pick? That draft pick is garbage. All right, I see them to pop up. Like I see that trade to pop up. All right, he he's there now. So we're not doing that. Uh, I'm I'm looking to give you guys pick 17, pick 29, and I'll throw in those picks. Now he's valuable. Look, bro. Y'all not y'all he's not even gonna play. Like at the end of the day, he's not even gonna play. So what's the big problem here? Uh what's the problem? I throw next year's pick Lotto protected to be honest. I d I don't really care that bruh. Don't don't play with me now. My G. You 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 can't give teams anything. He's not getting Karis LeVert and Cole Anthony for for what? All right. Um. Y'all have team options. Why can't I just trade y'all now? You know what? I might let them just draft him. And I might. Can I make this? I wish I could make this trade later on. Like, can we trade rights? Because right now they are tweaking. On what they want for him. And I don't want to give up any of these players for him. I really don't. Honestly, dog. We'll figure this thing out later. They are tweaking with that. Though. Let's just get to our draft pick. I wanted to trade for Isaiah Tyler. The best player available right now. Jaden Springer. Alright, who else? I honestly want to trade the, this pick so bad. Watch me take a bus. Let, he better not like be like ass. All right, he actually was a seventy-five. Cool, cool, cool. Now at pick number twenty-nine, who's there? Marcus Bagley's still there. We can honestly just go him. He's he's nineteen. Yeah, let, let's go with Marcus Bagley right there, and hopefully these turn into tradable pieces for Isaiah Todd or Sharif O'Neal in the future. I think getting Sharif won't be that difficult though. And with this one. Let's just go with him. And other than that, I'm good. Let's get to the end of this draft. All right, Sharif, what's your three? It's not going to tell me. Bet, bet, bet. All right, well, I don't think that we did all that bad in the draft. Ricky signings. Well, that's not all of them because, like I said, I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to trade these guys. All right, team player options. Didn't want to decline it. I did not see that happening. But I am bringing everybody else back. So he did decline it. How much money do we got? That's the question. How, how, how much money do we got? Let's restrict them. Yo, how much cap do we actually have, though? Uh, we broke, broke. Dimity has two offers from the Heat. This man is stripping. I might just sign and trade him, to be honest. But first off, what is Sharif O'Neal's three? He's on the Magic. I know that. What's his three, though? Because we might actually be able to trade for him to be our backup power forward. Let's just she. His three is higher. It's a C minus. It's two points higher. All right. Who do I actually want, though? Todd. Like, this was just a bad, like, draft pick. To be honest, like, <laughs> what are you guys doing? They got cashes. Yo, this team is stacked. This team is stacked. All right, we might be able to pull out a move where I, I can get Cassius Stanley and Todd. Let's try to work this thing out.
All right, so first off, let's just put them all on the trade finder. <laughs> we can get Rondé back. That's an L. That's an L. All right, let's, let's go to the Hawks. All right. I don't want Kevin, whatever. Give me, let me get Isaiah Todd. A cash to Stanley. Yeah. Back that up. This would require five mil. That ain't it. I'd include in him, to be honest. Hey, what's up with the salaries? Ele what? Oh nah. Forget cashes then. Whoa, that that that's a hell of an L. To be real. You guys are playing a eleven million eleven mil for one season. Nah. Nah. Where is Cody? It's got lose his fifteenth pick last season. Wait, is this man like untouchable or something? Dog. I'm giving you guys, he's a 78. We're giving you guys a 79, a 72, and a 75. What are we doing here? I'm not giving up any more first round picks. He's this valuable? That is crazy. That is actually crazy. What they what they want for him. If they honestly give me like a BS offer, I would just go for Sharif O'Neal. No offers fine. So so you guys are telling me that he's he's untouchable. Alright, bet. Niggas, they are tweaking. I don't know what they're doing over there. And this shit is ridiculous too. Like he, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm, forget that. I'll pass on both of them before I, I just get jacked like that. All right, yeah, just forget that. Let's just go ahead and let's, let's just do this. Yeah, let's just trade them for an, another piece. Because what they're talking about is just robbery. Like, that is, that's just straight up robbery, bruh. I don't want Tori and Prince. What what do we need on this team, though? All right, so we're good at our guard, our guard spots are really, really good. Forward spots are really good as well. Power forward, now that we got makers, it'd be good. A center. So let's start this thing off by bringing back Jared Allen. And we'll just take it from there. Same thing with Dimwitty. Dimwitty's getting, he's getting traded. Like, immediately after this offer is finalized, I am just going to go ahead and trade him. Dimwitty, three-year deal. You you know what's I'm probably going to be trading you as well. Uh, Giles, I like you and all, but let's lower that price. There you go. And he's restricted, so I didn't even really need to offer that. But we'll figure that out whenever the time comes. And, yo, other than that, we're good. All right. We Gucci. We brought back everybody. So now I can actually move them, which is also great. <clears throat> there we go. All right. So now, that, so now that we made that, uh, Dimwitty, I am going to move you. Yeah, that was a sign and trade kind of move. Let's see what we can actually pick up for you. I'm not, like, see, this is a deal that I, I, I would definitely take. It. This is a deal that I would definitely take if I was going to rebuild, but it's not realistic at all. And it, I can't even justify us doing that. But getting Luca would definitely be a major upgrade. But Luca and... Allen, what can I get there? Obviously, we're not trading him to the Golden State Warriors for an aging Draymond. That's an, that's just an L. All right, but anybody else who can give us some firepower? Because that's what I'm really looking for. I mean, if we get Drummond, we, we get a 27-year-old who's also an all-star in the East. We do add another small forward that I really, I don't really want, to, to be honest. Uh, but what's his stats looking like? He can't defend, like... He's honestly like a worse, a worse version of something that we already got. But if I could package this for something else. I, I keep on saying this. All right. So. We're, we're going to be good at backup shooting guard. And if we do this, I guess Bassey turns into our backup center. All right. Well. I'm down to do this trade. I think. I don't think it's all that far-fetched. I mean, the Pistons weren't the best team. I don't really want Blake Griffin in it. And this, they're fulfilling, they are, re, they are replacing their center with somebody five years younger. 
they get a point guard that they didn't even have, and they're low key improving at small forward. When we get our all star, I'm just gonna go ahead and make that happen, man. It's not that big of a deal. He's going. We are sending. We are sending Dinwiddie back to Detroit, and we're getting ourselves another all star, which I think can help us out as well. Him and D'Lo and Reddish. I'm and Siakam as well. So we're gonna see what we can do with that. I like that a lot. Are there any other moves that we can actually make on this team? I think for right now I'm good. Unless you unless we want to trade some of the rookies that we drafted. But if not, I'm 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 good with the team that we got. Like I, I really am. I think that this is gonna be a really exceptional team, and you know, hopefully we can just bring on a chip. Like I, I really wanted to get Isaiah Todd or like Sharif, but the asking price was too hard, too high. Like it was easier getting Drummond than those guys, which I still think is crazy. All right, any veterans with championship experience? Like I, I want certain badges. All right, so hitting into training camp, let's see what we got. Um, athleticism camp for D'Angelo Russell again. I like that. And what else can we do? Cam Reddish. I do want him doing like a lot more to be real. But let's see what where where can we send him to? I mean, he can already shoot. What's his three? It should. I, th I thought it was pretty odd. It's a ninety. All right, let's just send him to to, to combo guard. All right, and next up, let's go ahead and Cole Anthony, untapped potential. There we go. And are there any, like, free agents here? Like, any ones that can help us? Melo has no badges that could help this team. Uh, I mean, there's clutch performer, but I mean that's that's about it. Do we really want to get Melo a ring? Fine, let's bring Melo home and let's get him a ring. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and let's do that and hope that he don't kill our teammate chemistry. We gotta cut three players. So hold on, I don't want them to do it I, 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 automatically. We gotta we gotta cut three. Hammonds, I'm definitely gonna get him off. Um, how do you two? Who's better? You guys are damn near like the exact same player, except shooting wise. Both scoring wings. What kind of badges do do you got? Posterizer. So you're you're a dunker. Oh, I'm 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 gonna keep the uh, six ten dude, like for real. And then Musa. We don't we don't need Musa at all. If, if I can get draft picks for this, I'd be. Why do they keep on trying to trade Shea? Like, what is going on on the Clippers? Because if you guys don't want him, I would gladly just take him, to be honest. Because they every single time I, I pop a trade finder, they're trying to they're they're trying to just give him away. Like, you guys really want to rock with Isaiah Thomas? Like, if you guys keep on trying to offer me that, I'm gonna mess around and and just keep him. All right. Come on. What 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 kind of draft picks can I get? I'm not taking Shea. It's, it's, it's the farthest thing from realistic as possible. All right, you know what? Let's just do this. Fine. It, it doesn't really matter because, like, at, at the end of the day, we, we, we have to get rid of some players. Olenek, I'm just going to cut him. This is, like, taking way too long. Oh, hell no. Release him. All right. And then we got to get rid of one more player. I would like it to be Musa, but his trade value... Has skyrocketed. Does anybody want him? Like, all I want is a draft pick. It doesn't have to be, be like a great one. I'm just not sending him to the 76ers because that would be stupid. And they keep trying to just send me Shea. Like, they keep trying to trade him. And I'm, I'm telling you, if they keep offering, I might just go ahead and take it. Who this? 14th pick. Fine. Is he worth flipping, or do I, do, or is he just getting dropped? <laughs> like, 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 what is it? If he's worth flipping, we'll see. Flipped. And Henson, I'm just gonna drop you. There we go. All right. Well, after like 20 minutes of finding something, we're done with that. Our chemistry is literally, like, in the gutter. 
but we'll figure that out later. There we go. All right, and all right, so they, so this is what I'm thinking about doing. I'm let, I'm thinking about letting Cole Anthony come off of the bench. That is actually what I'm, so you guys maybe cut players assign, whatever. So this is what I'm actually considering doing. Uh, is letting Cole Anthony come off the bench because I guess him and D'Lo didn't really feel well together. I'm thinking of a lineup where I'm thinking of a lineup where Karis LeVert gets a starting lineup. I'm thinking of a lineup where Karis LeVert gets back into the starting lineup. So D'Lo, Karis, Cam Ruddish, Pascal Siakam, and Drummond, and then off the bench we got Cole Anthony, Bassey, Harry Giles, Alonzo Trier, and Matur Maker, and Keon Brooks. I'm not. I, I it's not a bad lineup if you guys ask me. Now, they maybe cut some players that could have been helpful for us, but, I mean, at, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. I think that we're going to be a really good team. Let's just, all right, so backups. All right, this is actually a really good backup lineup. And it still says that we are a contending team. We do need to get our chemistry back, but this year we are ranked as the fourth best team in the NBA. So I know I made a lot of moves in this episode, you guys. We obviously picked up Drummond. And D-Lo kind of went down and overall, which is kind of weird. But, hey, man, I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. So make sure you go ahead and like it up and subscribe. And in the next episode, we're playing the season opener against the Hawks. Trey Young, Jerry Culver, Prince, Collins, Bol Bol. They didn't let us get Isaiah Tyler, so we're really looking to take them down. So I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace, y'all.